Hello everyone, uh, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching um, One Punch Man Season 1 Episode 8. Now I'm really looking forward to this and so let's cut this intro short and just start the reaction now. Is this Janus? Who? Oh wow! Raksu, and you have a dishwasher in your hand, Saitama. Class B. Oh, so Class B doesn't have that. So only Class C. Is that a heart? No, don't tell him. S class. Exam. Oh, Saitama. His face. Okay, guys. Um, I'm sorry about this barking noise. I don't know why their owner, why the owner of that dog is still not letting him keep quiet. It's already late in the night and it's still actually barking so loudly like this. Like, at least please have enough sense to actually make him keep quiet. But it's not happening. They're letting their dog actually just bark like that. Like, it's too rude. But what else can I do? I just endure and you guys would have to endure with me. But yeah, um, in this episode, uh... We just see S class, A class, and B class actually, and C class maybe. Uh, we just see them getting bitten up by this demon, no, tiger upgraded demon rank, uh, criminal. Do we even call them criminal? They're just a creature that came from the, or are they creatures? Not just, I feel like I'm deleting, I'm deleting them while saying that, but they were creatures who came from the underwater. And so while we see that there's a possibility of that happening, then there are probably creatures on the moon and all, right? So I'm really curious, though, about the level gaps between this. Like, I assumed that a tiger demon, a tiger demon would be easily handled by a... If you look at it, at the strength-wise or what, I would assume that the tiger demon uh, criminal would be able to be handled by C and B class rank, but it's not happening. Like, what's the reason of this level gap? Like, the S class heroes, I mean, the last one, the first time, the first one that we see here, the S class hero that we see here is actually Puri Puri Prisoner, and he's the last. I don't know why. Maybe because he wasn't able to do any heroic deeds because he was in prison. But yeah, um, the fact that he wasn't able to do a thing towards this underwater sea creature just tells me that the S class rank might not even be able to handle demon class rank criminals or creatures like the threat levels it's too much like the I mean even Janus who I think might probably be the uh how do you call that the second main character the one the next most rather we have Saitama as the protagonist right so uh, the protagonist that what you call Janos. I do feel like he might be the second main character after um Saitama, but even even Janos is getting bitten up. And Fang, uh, the rank three S class hero, is also uh we didn't see him perform or anything. But how should I see this? The heroes are quite squishy if you compare them to their threat level counterparts. And I don't know, maybe the author did this. Because, well, the title of this story is One Punch Man, and so maybe they did this because they wanted uh, to prove that the only one who can actually kill these people or these threat levels who are beyond S-class levels would be Saitama. He's the only one. Like, it's very terrifying to think about it. Like, but if you remember episode one, where uh where Saitama dream of having this type of terrestrial uh monsters that were quite strong and now that it's happening here it's like deja vu right like he was excited uh to beat up some people because no one seems to be um up, up on his level but now that it's happening and he sees the casualties made by this uh uninvited guest you can see just how pissed off he was and so i'm really looking forward towards the next episode but 
we saw a lot of cannon fodders being beaten up. Even Sonic can handle him. I don't know if Janos can, like... I'm having doubts now. After seeing the S-Class, A-Class, and all, they don't seem to be as powerful as their counterparts. And then we see a Mimas over here, who's just performing, singing, acting, and has a hero uh, job as a sideline. I wonder what's gonna happen with that. Like... <laughs> I cannot believe a hero can be like that, but I'm also surprised that a hero's license or or rather even if they're on the prison they still are not um removed from the hero registry. It's surprising, but it's a good thing to add in my mind just in case. But yeah, um Sonic is naked <laughs> kind of follow for your, for your prisoner and that but yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing the next episode i'm really sorry about the barking guys i won't be able to do anything about it like i said <sighs> dear pet owners please do not let your dog keep on barking like this and kind of actually um how should i say this providing some kind of noises towards your uh towards your neighbors please don't let this happen to your neighbors like I don't know. I don't know what what's my neighbor thinking, letting him just bark like that. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. I'll see you all next time.